Hey guys, today I'm going to make a video response to Rudy's video titled Investing in New Magic Box Returns Equal 100 plus dollars for Battle for Zendikar uh, Rudy in the video asked Does anyone know why Conspiracy Take the Crown is $100? Does anyone know why Battle for Zendikar is $100? Now he does mention eBay And it's very important to know that you can get boxes cheaper shipped to you from stores, from large retail stores. The reason eBay is having a sale is because people are not actually paying $100 a box, they're paying around $85, $80 a box because there's a lot of coupons going on. Uh, there's coupons on the mobile app, there's coupons on, they're sending on email, they're really pushing sales, spring sales, and that's an eBay coupon. That's not always going to happen. Let's talk about the Battle for Zendikar. So here we see it for $95. There is free shipping after you spend a few more dollars. This particular person has 20 plus. I believe it is Cool Stuff Inc., but it honestly could be any of the big retailers. My local game store has cases of this stuff. The value is not there. Um, if you buy a box at 100 and you hold it, you have to pay eBay fees, right? That's how eBay makes money. You have to pay PayPal fees. You have to pay shipping. You have to pay uh, your, for your time. It's not as simple as saying, all right, let's buy for 100 and hope it goes up to 120. Even at 120, maybe you break even if you consider your if you value your time at zero as an investment. So when you use the term investment, here's a different website. It has free shipping after you spend $100. These sites always have free shipping. Like you, they cannot compete otherwise. So it's about $90. So that is the price of one of these boxes. Now, if you purchased it for $90 and now it's $90, you actually have a loss because you cannot sell it for $90. Uh, now, many of you might say, oh, I'll sell on Craigslist. I, this is very difficult to sell as an individual box uh, because if, let's expect, one or two masterpieces per uh, case, people are really hunting for masterpieces. I will point blank say there is nothing like... This set is terrible from an expected value. Uh, you will get hosed every single time unless you get a masterpiece. And even if you get open a masterpiece, it has to be the right one. I don't see this set. So here's the coupon that I received uh, that is good. By the time this video goes up, you can probably still use it. Uh, but there's also a coupon for collectibles. Uh, there's a coupon for the app, 20%. It's very easy. Just Google eBay coupon and you will be able to find a one the highest that day, it's always a different percentage. I think I've seen 18% as well to celebrate 2018. So I think this is a reasonable exercise to understand. You are not gonna make money from boxes. Rudy will make a lot of money from boxes. Rudy is trading these boxes for cash and he's using the cash to buy other things that he knows will be more valuable in time. Uh, he has said in his video, he does not hold a position in these, which is correct. The problem is, I know a lot of people are hyped on this masterpiece. It, there's a very big difference between a masterpiece, which you buy as a single card. The masterpiece is the definition of why you would buy singles. Nothing in this box is guaranteed. Here you have this ceaseless hunger at 22, and then there's not a single card over 10. There's only two cards over five. And these are the mythics. Now, when I was doing the rares, I was so shocked that like the most expensive rare is Cinderglade at $2 and something, $2 and like 13 cents. So the mythics, you gotta hit the ceaseless hunger. And even then, like it's still really bad. Like it does not, he's not Leovo at 40. And there's a bit, very big difference when something is 22 and something is 40 because you would have to hit that mythic again and again and again or a similar mythic. So if you hit the Ceaseless Hunger, Gideon, Draina, Void, Dragon Master, Outcast, you hit five mythics, let's consider it six. You still don't break even at $100 a box. 
Um, here are the rares. Like two dollars and thirty three cents is the most exp expensive rare in this entire set. And you take a look at them. Literally, this entire set is bulk because the new masterpieces were coming. Not. It's not a chicken or egg. Here, I know exactly what happened. Was they manipulated the value of the set to include the masterpieces. The masterpieces were not a bonus, which they should have been. They made the set just awfully weak. Just this is the one of the weakest sets I've seen uh, in a long, long time. Uh, it's Macadian Mask bad. I remember it playing from Urza Saga to McKinney Mask. Like you understood, you're like, wait, what? What just happened here? We're playing really cool cards that did game changing. We could combo off and win in turn one by drawing lots of cards, and now we're playing like rebels. <laughs> like what? What happened here? That's how I felt like when this set came out. Now let's talk about box prices. Um, Unstable is the only one that you bought at a hundred. No one is selling this at a hundred, so. It's not even a reasonable comparison because people were selling it at more money. Yeah, that's 125. I think that won't be fine because they manipulated supply. But there are rumors of a second reprinting or another reprinting, and that will tank the price. Hour of Devastation is at 72. Again, this website, it's Dave and Adams. It has free shipping. It has discounts. It has coupons. It's harder for you not to get coupons than for you to like. It's kind of like Vista Print. There are like a hundred different coupons out there at the same time. And even if you buy in bulk, if you buy over $500, there's a certain email dude that you can buy from and you negotiate prices directly with him. So, and this is not even the cheapest website for every product. Their websites are even cheaper than this, but it's kind of shady. So RTR is 80, Iconic Masters uh, has bounced back. It used to be 130 on this website, or 135. And the, this is the non-sale price, okay? So the sale price is you take 10 to $20 off these boxes, or conspiracy, what was that, like $8. You take anywhere between five to $20, depending on the box, off, and then that is, quote, your sale price. Holiday, I'm sure we will have an Easter one. I'm sure that winter is very good uh, for most websites. I think it's kind of crazy for people to say, including Rudy, to say, hey, look at Battle for Zen Car. It's $100 a box on eBay. Or look at Conspiracy Take the Crown, which you guys know I'm very interested in. And I do have a position in that. So I will tell you this. But do I think it's ever going to hit 100 no, I'm going to show you exactly why. Because this store, this one store, has a bazillion of them. And you cannot, no matter what I do to this store, I can never buy them out of stuff. Like, it'll say, oh, bought out. And then the next day I return, they stocked it up twice as much. And it's like, what? what? What just happened? I thought I bought out the stock. So th there's many issues. Um, the primary issue I find is there's a very big difference from when you see a card go up in price and when you can what you can sell the card or in this case to boost the box at so yes oh unstable i bought for a hundred which i don't think too many people did now i'm selling for now i see on a website for 125 that's not the buy price so these ebay prices are buy nows right they aren't the sale price and you don't know what type of coupon was used in the back end so the value of the box is not $100, uh, especially for Conspiracy. Conspiracy, I will show you the more obvious one. Rudy, at this timestamp, is saying that, you know, there's about $90 uh, that you can open, and the box on eBay is $100. Again, coupons, uh, always coupons. Even at da Dave and Adam's, you know, it's not what I never pay the sticker price. Like, even at 80 there was no way I'm going to buy Conspiracy at 80 I bought it at 68 a box and you can still buy a 68 you just gotta talk to that one dude and you buy enough he'll sell you whatever you want at 68 right because they did it once and there was no limit on that one i could have bought as many as i wanted and i know in easter we'll have another sale can i guess what box it will be i would guess it's modern masters uh, they had a sale of modern masters i forget what it was it was like 150 or something so it is very luck it's really easy to say, hey, I'm going to look at this one website and tell you that the price has increased. Everyone clapped their hands. You made fake money. 
it's hard to just sell the boxes. It is, oh, so here you see Conspiracy at 80. But again, I, I'm telling you, I have the receipt. I just bought this for 68 shipped to me. I could have bought any amount of quantity. There was no limit to the amount I could have purchased. No, maybe there was like 100 bucks. There was some upper limit. I mean, you can buy a whole case for uh, 460. You can even buy a pack, I guess, for 240. So at the end of the day, like you're talking about things that um, on paper it looks good, it pencils on paper, but in reality, with sales and you know eBay and PayPal, it's not real. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.